This is Andy's DIY. I'm working with the 2000 Toyota Tacoma SR5. Uh, I've got a sticking gas pedal. Uh, I've seen a couple other videos out there. Um, one on a camera. It should be a similar setup. I'll just show you on the Tacoma. Um, other than the carpets getting stuck up under it and other little issues that have been recalled from Toyota, sometimes it can be your throttle body just being gummed up and the little the, the flap on the throttle body itself um, will start to stick on the carbon buildup. I'll show you how to um, open that up and clean it up. So here's the, the 2000 Tacoma I'm working on. Pick this one up for my son. It's got a, so here's your throttle body for people that are new at this. Look for your air box. Just follow your your uh, hose or tube all the way up to your throttle body. And there, that'll be. You can undo this with a Phillips head and just pull this thing back. Disconnect whatever's giving you tension. But this is where you're. When you hit your gas pedal, you accelerate. It's pulling on this, which is which is in turn moving this flap on the inside. And when you get buildup in there, it starts to stick. And that's what that's what causes your. You know, like your. You go to take off and it just kind of hesitates and then it goes. And, so this usual will fix you. I'm going to open mine up and show you what I did. I was going to get after this couple here and take these off. There's one on either side. And try to just kind of pry this back where I could get my uh, throttle body out and move it out of the way. But this thing was old, probably the original, and it started to split. So I just split it all the way to get it off. Uh, I bought a replacement coupler, um, like at AutoZone. I think it was like five bucks. But it's it, it's made to fit different openings. It's a uh, like it's Spectra. Anyway, Spectra. Anyway, so that's all that is a couple. So what you really need to do, you need to move this whole thing back all the way to the air box. So you need to get this, to do this and have room, because I want to take the throttle body off because of the sticking problem. So I'm going to get it all the way up and clean it out. Um, you need to get over here and start move it, uh, unclip the air box. I went ahead and un did this already, but your, uh, your, your uh, mass airflow sensors here, you just undo it, unplug it there. You can see where the plug is there. These, these little plug-ins, they just kind of just pull out. I was trying to figure out that, that there was a release, but this thing just, Pushes, it just snaps in and you just have to pull it out really hard. Worst case, if it breaks, you can zip tie it back. There's one back here too. That, that lets go here. And then um, the other thing you got is you're gonna have a nut like this. This is weirdly enough, it's a 13 millimeter. I don't get that. I figured it'd be 14 or a 12, it's 13. Um, that goes, you come right under here and I'll show you here. It's right, you have to reach under here and I'll touch it here, but I'll show you when I put, remove this thing of, of how, it, uh, how it bolts on there. Once that's done, then this thing is gonna move. It's gonna start to move like this. And that's probably enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just snake mine all the way out. You have to rotate it to where this thing will move up and then the whole thing will come out. I'll have to do this with two hands to show you here. Yeah, once this little metal piece here that goes that back in line, then once that Clears this little bracket. Of course, you could just take the bracket off, but you can work it around there. Then the whole thing will just kind of move. That's actually far enough back. I don't have to take it all the way up. But now it's 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 out of the way for me. But that's what it took to get that kind of clearance. And then you can just slide off if you got the original. You can just pull it off and not do this. But I mean, obviously this needs to be replaced anyway. But that's how you can get this thing off because I didn't really realize about this nut right here and it fastens right there on the bottom. So you're gonna come in through the bottom here and that's where you back that nut off. And that's how you get this, uh, I don't know, the air box, uh, snorkel, whatever you wanna call that. Anyway, once that's back, then you've got access to your um, throttle body. It's spacious, it's just two nuts on top and it's either a nut and bolt on bottom, just four points of attachment. And you can just take off whatever vacuum lines you want and the whole thing just slides off. Uh, I'm also gonna unclip, um, I'll take my, uh, my throttle body wires here, my, uh, I forget what they call it, but I'm gonna take my cables loose. There's a lot of videos on taking this off. I mainly wanted to show how to get this thing off because that's what the biggest problem was to me was getting it off without breaking and tearing this thing up. So we've got the two bolts or the two nuts on top removed. And you can see down below that, it's hard to see it. Yeah, I can't really video it, but there's a bolt down there on either side. So you have total four or screws. And then you wanna do your link is these are gonna be 12 millimeter nuts here. Actually, these are 14. This is the lower one. And this is 12. It's the top one. And this cable just wraps around the top of your throttle here. And it just kind of goes. You'll see how to pull that out of there. That just pulls off. That way you can get this free. Because again, I'm taking mine off. Some people clean it with it on the car, but I'm going to pull mine completely off so I can get, uh, get after the sensor in there too and just clean the whole thing out. That's how you'll get this. You can see mine's about ready to slide off here. So 
Okay, so I've removed all these vacuum lines here, just kind of lay them the way they are, that way you know which ones go where. Or you can mark them however you want to, but all these have to be disconnected. You have to, I'll disconnect them here, and now the thing is about ready to slide off. I will also have to unplug this back here. I think that's to your, I uh, can't remember the name of the sensor, but uh, you'll unplug that. That's why I'm gonna also clean this out too. This thing too, along with the throttle body. So you can see how black and how sticky that is in there. That's a lot of the problem in there. The way it's, it's all that really needs to be cleaned out. I'm gonna get some uh, carb cleaner and pray, spray that out and try to spray all this stuff out here to get nice and uh, clean again where the surfaces are slick. So here's the throttle body out. If you look at all the points of attachment, you got all the vacuum lines on top, those there. Uh, you got another one back here and you got another electric connection in the back. So you have to reach back there and unhook it. Uh, so it's a quite a bit to unhook to get it out, but then that's put it out. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, working on cleaning some of this carbon out. Which is like a soft bristle brush or toothbrush, whatever you want to do, but it's real gummy and this should not be so. So I'm going to clean that out as best I can and then I'm going to go, to, I'm going to bench clean the uh, throttle body. Take some manifold cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the throttle body now. So I'm starting on the throttle body here. I'm using this, uh, this Berryman's throttle body cleaner, but I uh, got to get all that tarry stuff off. That's pretty, pretty filthy inside and out so I'm gonna have to work on it a little while so you can see uh, stuff worked really well but that's how that's how you should look there that's why I went ahead and took it off it was really pretty filthy I got most of almost just about everything out of it uh, inside and out there next thing I'm gonna do is the uh, the air idler the AIC air idler control right here you just remove these four screws here so here's where that all cleaned out there. So I'll just join this back together, flip it back over, and then put the screws back in and start getting ready to reinstall. So here's the throttle ball back in place. Uh, just keep track of your vacuum lines. It does get a little difficult back here in the back. You've got um, a fuel line back here, and one, you know, and the plug that's way back in here, and they get kind of difficult to get to. But uh, just I had to get those on first, and then I slid my, my piece back on. I did end up buying a new gasket. Um, just a matter of sliding this cl uh, closer in, and then I'll show you how I put the coupler on. There's the Toyota one, and there's the aftermarket one. And this thing was eight bucks, like at AutoZone, so it's I think a Spectra brand, and it fits up to dip a few different sizes either way. So, so here we are, we're all fixed. Got everything's back on, maps hooked up, everything's plugged back in, linkage back on. This is that uh, aftermarket replacement, uh, which worked out just fine. Um, it, come, it came with a spacer, you don't need the spacer, that won't let you get close enough, but that did fine too, so uh, it actually worked out. We'll fire it up, see how it goes.